What's cracking, party people? <laughs> you know that feeling when you generate free views like a slave for the past five years and then everything you've worked on since you were 13 is deleted by the same self-serving corporation that deviously lured you into a false sense of trust? Cause I do. <laughs> Let's take a few steps back. So a few months ago, I made a video called all about my Wattpad. I mean, I've been on Wattpad for five years. So if you know me, you know about my Wattpad. And for as long as I've been on Wattpad, it's always been known as that cringy fan fiction site. Because when you search for Wattpad, stuff like this comes up. But recently it's made a turn from that cringy fan fiction site to that cringy fanfiction corporation. <laughs> I'm 18, so when I joined Wattpad, I was only 13, and I guess I didn't realize quite how much money Wattpad was getting from ads, because Wattpad puts ads on everything. Doesn't matter if your book has 20 million views or if it has five views, Wattpad puts ads on anything that you post. So I had this profile called Jane Conquest Backup and I had 53 books on there and about all of those books had 200 chapters. So I'll do the math for you here. So if there's an ad between each chapter of my books, that's 10,600 ads just on my profile by itself. That's a lot of dollar dollar for Wattpad. So you'd think they wanna treat me like a queen, right? Nope. <laughs> Earlier this year, Wattpad introduced something called Wattpad Premium, where you can pay 60 bucks a year to use Wattpad without ads. And I bought Premium, so not only was I working every day for free to make Wattpad money, but I was now paying them to make them money which is awesome. <laughs> so that's where I was in July, 2018. I had about 75 million views across my books on JCB and things were going great. You know, I'll throw up my July calendar here and you can see that each dot represents one of my books. So I was posting to about 14 books a day, usually two chapters. So that's 28 chapters a day until Friday the 13th. <laughs> Nah, I wish I was joking, but I'm not. Wattpad deleted my profile on Friday the 13th in July. Going back to the calendar, one of those dots, specifically this one, that's for a book I made called Funny Wattpad Comments. I'm not gonna lie and say all 53 of my books on JCB were novels, all right? There were a lot of memes in there. <laughs> but I also had a ton of legit books too. My book Why Clichés got five million views coming to Amazon in early 2019. I can self-advertise in my own video if I want, okay? <laughs> anyway, funny Wattpad comments actually ended up being one of my favorites of all my books because all of the comments were from my profile. I also had another book of funny text messages and that was my second most popular book with 14 million views. Oh, I forgot, there's no hair there. And there's this thing on Wattpad called PMs, which stands for private messages. So I decided to throw some PMs into my funny Wattpad comments because people send me weird stuff, you know, like this person who generously PM'd me a link to a Ronald McDonald fan fiction. Honestly, I didn't see any difference between PMs and text messages, which like I said, Wattpad was happy to let get 14 million views worth of ads. And yeah, sometimes I'd poke a little fun at people. Like the time some guy went on a rant about how much he hates me and I checked his activity and found out he was reading not one, not two, but three of my books. <laughs> but the whole goal of funny Wattpad comments was for people to receive positive exposure. Like I posted someone's joke book about them falling in love with the horse when it had no views and now it has 50,000. But anyway, funny Wattpad comments got about two and a half million views in six months. And then out of nowhere, I got this message saying that a chapter had been deleted. Keep in mind, I thought Wattpad's messages were automated, like, from a bot and obviously I wasn't trying to spam anyone so I thought it was just a mistake. So I went and appealed the deleted chapter in Wattpad's help center, they call it submitting a ticket and that's when they deleted my account, literally out of the blue. All 53 books and 108,000 followers, everything, it was just gone. Here's some footage of me on July 13th. were nicer. So yeah, I wasn't doing great, <laughs> but I was more angry than upset, you know? Wattpad used me for a ton of money and then just threw me away. But you know what the best part is? A while back, they stuck one of my JCB books on the front of the Wattpad app in the app store, which I thought was super cool. But then, to this day, they still have my book on the front of the Wattpad app. They have my book that they deleted 
on the front of their app. It is October 29th, which is three months, 16 days since it was deleted. Here's the Wattpad app. There it is. So anyway, I know y'all are just dying to know their reasoning for deleting me. It was for promoting harassment. They said I was bullying people through my funny Wattpad comments. I would have deleted the book if they had just told me. I mean, obviously I'd rather lose one book than my whole account, but that's not how Wattpad works. My fans know I tried for over two months to get my account back. I worked with some legal people and we went up through the ranks of the staff at Wattpad until we ended up emailing the goddamn CEO of Wattpad. Here's part of the email I sent to the CEO. We try and explain that I'm filling out college applications and Wattpad is a huge part of my resume because I spent five years on it. And then we offered to donate $1,500 to a charity of Wattpad's choice in Wattpad's name if they would restore the account. You wanna know what the CEO said to that? Hi, thanks for your suggestion. However, your proposal is not something we can consider. Best over a meme book. A huge part of this is due to Wattpad's terrible communication. They have a strike policy, which if you're on YouTube, you know what a strike policy is. Three strikes and you're out. Except with Wattpad, Wattpad does not tell you when you get a strike. Wattpad does not even tell you that they have strikes. Believe me, I searched all up and down the terms and conditions, the content guidelines. I searched everywhere and there's not one mention of a strike policy. So just to recap, they don't tell you that they have strikes, they don't tell you when you get a strike, and they don't warn you before you get three strikes and they delete your entire account. For a while they were like, you should have read the guidelines, you should have read the rules, but no, I literally could not have known. And other sites like YouTube have very clear guidelines about breaking rules. Do y'all remember when Logan Paul posted a video of a literal suicide victim? He got one strike for that. I got three for posting memes. So if you're a Wattpad user, you better be prepared to be deleted at any time. And remember that notification Wattpad sent me saying my chapter had been deleted? They usually don't even do that. I'm not even finished yet. And now, the Wattpad ambassadors. I had 108,000 followers, right? Someone's gonna notice that I've gone missing. And on Wattpad, there's this thing called Wattpad Ambassadors, which Wattpad calls a group of users who volunteer with Wattpad to support the community. Do you know that one YouTuber, FoozyTube, the one who got a little bit of power and literally lost his mind over it? I said, I wanna speak to him in real life and have a face-to-face -face conversation. What I'm saying is a hate. I'm just telling you as a man at 28 years old what I feel. That's basically the Wattpad ambassadors. <laughs> so as soon as I got deleted, the Wattpad ambassadors flocked to my other profiles and started harassing the hell out of me. And not just me, they also started spamming my poor fans who were just trying to figure out what was going on. So I took a screenshot of every comment they left on my profile and it's over 600. Then one of my fans made a profile to help support me and they started harassing there too. Just a little side note, ooh, we're looking rough today. One of the ambassadors accused me of making my own fan account and the fan had to come out and make a YouTube video in order to prove to people that she wasn't me and it's a very sweet video and she's not the only one who sent me one so i'll be playing all of those at the end stay tuned here's one of my favorites an ambassador posted this on the fan profile you all should be aware that this will make absolutely no difference in whether her account or work are reinstated or not None. So that's the kind of people Wattpad has working for them. I'm not gonna sit here and go through each and every awful thing the ambassador said to me, but I have selected a few that I think you might find interesting. First up is Super Suspicious. Super Suspicious is a Wattpad ambassador and she has a book called Wattpad Rumors Debunk, which has quite possibly the worst book cover I've ever seen. <laughs> Just a bit of background info, the reason the ambassador said that they were harassing me was because the hashtag StandbyJane was spreading all around Wattpad with people asking me to get my account back. And there's this chapter in Super Suspicious' book called I'ma Sue Wattpad, Burn the Ambassadors at the Stake. Let's have a read, and I'm only gonna pull out the important parts here. You've seen the mass mobs with their pitchforks clambering onto the ambassador's message board. Ambassadors have no idea why people are removed. If you break the rules, you lose your account. That's after breaking multiple rules and being sent multiple warnings, so no matter how much time, effort, energy you put into Wattpad, you can still lose your account for breaking rules. You aren't above any anymore. I think she meant anyone. You aren't above anymore <laughs> just because you have had over 100k followers. Crying that you lost all that work is also not going to make anyone sympathetic. Don't lie about getting a warning then losing account. 
you did receive a warning. Common things that people do that aren't allowed. Screenshots from PM that include another person. Screenshots of comments used to mock or expose them. Harassment. Encouraging your followers to attack someone. Getting into fights on someone else's board just because they disrespected your author. These are just common things author lose their account over that they say they're innocent for. Your favorite author did something that she isn't telling you or your fellow users and that's up to her. Just don't run around with half the information and trying to fight a battle she has already lost. Hashtag I stand with Wattpad. Um... This is about me. <laughs> she literally says she when referring to the author. So of course someone noticed this chapter. It's obvious who inspired you to write this chapter. You kept using a gender, she, her, and y'all mentioned the 100,000 followers, etc. Why not just tag Jane next time? <laughs> to which super suspicious replied that I had enough support accounts to keep me busy. Which doesn't really make sense with the question asked, but <laughs> but you know, we've already established that the standards for Wattpad ambassadors are not the highest. <laughs> I've just got one more bit about Super Suspicious and then I promise we'll move on. I wanted to compare a few of Super Suspicious's passages here with the Wattpad Code of Conduct. Here we go. We aim to create a safe community for everyone on Wattpad, so be kind, respectful, and please treat others as you want to be treated. Crying that you lost all that work is not going to make anyone sympathetic. Wattpad is a friendly and welcoming environment for everyone to enjoy. It's not the place for you to express rage from the other parts of your life. It's a blessing that my best friend of eight years blocked me. My life may not be great, but at least I'm not running around like a thought. That last one was her most recent message on her message board. So obviously she's just a charming person all around. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the end. I'm sure you're bored. I just wanted to show you this last message. I have a simple question. Without Wattpad, how many followers would Jane have? Zero. Wattpad is a friendly and welcoming environment for everyone to enjoy. It's not the place we aim to, to create a rage from the other parts for of everyone life. on Wattpad. Also, so be kind, of respectful, and please treat Wattpad others as you want to be treated. Community. My name is Jane Cooper. I am 18 years old and under my pen name Jane Conquest, I have created five books, four of which are novels and one of which is an advice book on writing. I have also created three graphic novels, one of which is over 600 pages long. For the past 16 weeks, I have volunteered at a nonprofit agency teaching creative writing to underprivileged youth and I spoke on a panel in September to an audience of gifted middle and high schoolers about my experiences as an author. I also have my own website and YouTube channel. Wattpad does not define me. Losing Jane Conquest backup will not ruin me or my career. If that ambassador is watching this, I want you to know that I have plenty of other friends and family that Wattpad will never take away from me. Only in addition to all of that did I rack up 75 million views across 53 books on Wattpad.com. That happened. You can delete Jane Conquest backup, but it doesn't mean that I didn't accomplish everything that I accomplished on that profile. To Wattpad, if you take anything away from this video, you need to fix your ambassador program, you need to clearly define and communicate your rules, and you need to stop treating your community like they're dispensable to you. There's more and more of people just like me speaking out every day. I only hope it's a matter of time before you start to actually listen. Even Wattpad's latest update is about paying to read individual stories on Wattpad and starting some kind of online currency on the platform. All I know is that the more money you try to extract from your community, the more you lose sight of the values that make your platform great, the more good and quality people you will alienate. After my Wattpad was deleted, I found a community of users, including some former Wattpad ambassadors, that have been collecting information on Wattpad's corruption for a while. This does not end here. In this video, I told my story with Wattpad, but in the next video, I will be telling everyone's story. Wattpad has a long history of misconduct that they've tried to cover up, but I'm going to be the one to bring everything to light. To be honest, I've moved on. I've considered not even making this video, but I know if I can help even one person avoid getting screwed over like I did, then it's worth it. I started a new profile dedicated to spreading awareness about Wattpad's issues, so you should go check that out real soon because you never know, they might delete it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. The usual links will be in the description, and I'll see you next time for part two, exposing Wattpad. Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Indigo and I'm a Wattpad user. I'm also a fan of Jane Conquest Backup. I still am, but sadly the account was deleted, so it's very unfortunate and I just wanted to make this video dedicated to Jane. 
I'm not really good at just saying things from the heart, so I wrote something down. I hope that that's okay, but all of this is from me and, uh, and from no one else. It's just my message to Jane and Jane Conquest Backup, so I'm just gonna read it out. Hello everyone, I'm Indigo, and I'm a fan of Jane Conquest Backup, and just Jane Cooper herself. I don't know when I fell upon her account, but I just wanted to give you guys a couple reasons why her Wattpad account was so great. I followed Jane Conquest Backup after I saw how many books she had. I was amazed by the hard work and dedication she put into her account. Jane personally inspired me by being able to work hard on her account and manage school, which I know is very hard. I do not know how you do it. She even self-published one of her novels on the account that I read. It was a really good book. I even bought it on Amazon. It was really good. And you guys should read it. Buy it and read it. She is truly what I hope I can be. And I love her with her positivity and her love for God. She has a great sense of humor and her Wattpad cliches always make me laugh. She supported me once by saying my submission for her book was good and to keep going. I will, Jane, and I hope you do too. Jane really did earn her success, and I will yell it out as many times as I need to. Hashtag, stand by Jane. Thank you. Hi, I'm the owner of Jane Deserves Better, and I'd like to make a comment that in no way did Jane make this account. She doesn't run it. She doesn't have the password to it. The emails are not even hers. I just wanted to say that before I continued, and I said thank you to everyone who's supporting Jane because I know the screenshots thing could have gotten her deleted, but I don't personally know what got her deleted. I still feel it was wrong after five long years of hard work. Would you want your account deleted? Especially if you blocked out usernames and most of them were entries from an email. Um, sorry, I'm bad at talking, I'll get rid of Okay, so I'd like to thank everyone who is supporting Jane. Well, I already did that. But I'd also like to thank Jane for staying strong through this tough, rough time. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's written messages to Jane because I'm sure she appreciates that and it helps her a lot. Um, gosh, I say um a lot. Okay. Uh, please don't threaten Jane or harass her. Other than that, I want to say I support you, Jane, and I hope you can get your account back. And I sure be, I sure will be buying your cliches book when it's published. And I think that's it for now. I'll make another video when I can talk proper. Thank you. Have a good day. I hope you can conquest back up gets restored soon. I can't imagine a world without your stories because they're just amazing and I can't express how much I love your stories and how much they made me laugh and I just hope they get restored. After a Jane Conquest backup got deleted, I'm even more paranoid so. I chose to do this documentary and help out Jane because this is really important. She had like 5 years of work, like f over 50 books, and she had 100,000 followers or over when she, it was deleted for something that could easily have been fixed. I trust Jane, and I stand by Jane, I still stand by Jane, and Wattpad definitely should have fixed that. Like, she blocked out the names and she always got consent, she had no malicious intent. And the fact that the Wattpad ambassador is telling us that this doesn't matter, that this is always going to happen, and that Jane wouldn't have any followers because they all came from Wattpad, that's wrong. Okay? They're meant to be helping. They're not meant to be putting the ass in the ambassador and, like, aggravating everyone and telling us that it doesn't matter. Because if we can't make a difference to Wattpad, then at least we're making a difference to Jane. She's not going to go through this alone. I'll make sure of that. When I woke up today, I found out that Wattpad had deleted my account, Jane Conquest Backup. So it has been about 24 hours since Jane Conquest Backup was deleted. Um, 
I'm not really angry anymore. I just kind of feel numb. So it's the next day. So it's been three days. It's midnight on Monday. What I really didn't think about is the fact that the people who hate me would be happy that I'm deleted. So now they're coming. It's Tuesday right after school. Um, so I guess that this means I'm not going to college. It's all I'm thinking about. Like, as soon as I close my eyes when I go to bed, that's all I'm thinking about. And I don't remember if I vlogged this, but I had a dream. I think it was on the first or second night of it being deleted. I had a dream that it came back and I woke up and it wasn't there. Wednesday update. I don't think I'm going to get it back. Today is Thursday. So it has been almost one week since my profile was deleted. And that's all I have to say about that. Happy one week since JCB was deleted. Today was the first good day in a while. Eight days. Hey, it's Sunday. Every time I have something good or that I care about, it literally gets taken away from me. You know, maybe it'll come back, who knows. If it doesn't, I will deal with it. So it's almost been two weeks. No, I gotta move on, I can't. You know, um, Oh well. So it's been 21 days. I think it's just a good lesson that like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm learning. I'm just feeling a lot of pain. Damn. It is August 15th. It has been over a month. I changed everything on my college resume and my website. didn't want it. I, al I feel like I always had a sinking feeling that it wasn't going to come back, but I said that it would. To try and make it come true, but it didn't. I guess this was a good lesson, but. You know, sometimes it just takes like this one thing, like maybe I could have like gotten a good job because of it. Maybe like a lot of good things could have happened because of it and now they won't because I look really gross right now. It's just the lighting, I swear. And also I'm gross, but you know, this was meant to be, if I'm meant to just disappear and if I'm meant to just disappear then so be it. Nothing I can do. Kind of sucks. I wish there was something I could do. I wish that I could just like, I wish that my determination and like my willpower alone was enough to help me be successful and do all the things that I want to do, but it's not. It's um, it's a lot of luck. It's a lot of things that need to go right, and I guess it's just not meant for me. Um, <sighs> I have a lot of life ahead of me, so maybe I can turn something around, but right now... That's that. Um, goodbye to all that work. Um, all that time. All those people. Man, that's what sucks the most. You know, all the great people I got to connect with. I'm just making it sound like a pity party and it's really all about them, you know, like, I don't know what I have to say, I just, wow, this video sucks. I'm probably gonna chop it up, like I always do, cut out all these awkward pauses. I don't even know what to say, you know, like, this isn't a problem that like human beings have had before my generation you know like it's not like I can talk to my parents about it it's not like this is something everyone goes through you know very isolating oh no you are not going to cry over this 
No, you're not, bitch. No, you're not. Anyway, um, that just smeared it. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know what to do. Just keep doing what I'm doing. I guess that's life, you know? <laughs> just. Okay, bye. Hey, it's uh, October 30th, so it's the day before I'm going to upload this video. So I guess this is kind of last minute, but I didn't want to leave it on that last video. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm better and it does get better. Like now I've shifted my perspective and I look at it as something that was meant to happen. I think I said in one of those videos, like, I guess I'm just going to disappear or like, guess I'm not going to college. You know, that was just, I just said that in the moment. God did this to force me to focus on the more important things. I wish I could go back in time and tell myself that he did this because now I'll actually be more successful or at least I'm on a better path and I guess a clean break was also really good you know there are just so many positives to focus on here my cat just opened my door obviously worse things have happened to people like this is obviously not the worst thing in the world people are dying <laughs> and I'm sorry that this video wasn't as funny or lighthearted as my videos usually are but I won't apologize for how I feel because this had an extreme impact on my life and I wanted to share it with you guys and let you know going through something like this is a process like look at how far I've come like put a side by side of me on July 13th versus me now you know making this video was really hard because I'm a nice person and I'm not confrontational and I'm certainly like I never expected I'd be the type of person to make an expose, but I will stand up for myself and I'm not gonna allow myself to just be pushed over like this. So please just be nice in the comments and know that I was really nervous about posting this. You know, I'm strong. If you take anything away from this, I hope it's that. Bye.